Good Tuesday morning, Redskins Sports fans. This is John Cannon. I am here with the Redskins Sports.us Player of the Week, Maida Ortiz. Maida is a junior on the wrestling team here at Donna High, and so far has had a year to remember. She went in undefeated this week into her uh, matches against Enberg North and Real Grand City. Unfortunately, she did lose her first match against Enberg North, but then bounced back and beat a girl from Rio Grande City. Maida, first of all, congratulations. Let's walk, let, let's talk about that match against Enberg North. You went in undefeated, but I understand that girl's really tough. What happened in that match? In that match, I didn't work on things that I should have worked on more, and um, I'm looking forward um, to the next rematch so I can work on those things. How did she beat you in that match? Uh, there was a lot of stalling. I noticed that there was no shots taken at all. And she beat me. I was out of fuel at that point, but I will not let that happen again. There you go. Now, going into the next match, how angered were you or how bad did you want to avenge that loss? I was pretty angry because I had an undefeated streak and I wanted to remain that way. So going in the girl against Rio, talk to me about that one. Talk to me about that match. In that one, I was just thinking about what I got to do and that was when Got into that match with the mindset that I was going to do good. And how did you beat her? I got a takedown and then I beat her. So was that the redemption that you needed to overcome that loss? Would you say? I wouldn't say that was the redemption. The redemption would be um, going undefeated from now. Okay. From that match, what's the one thing that you learned that you cannot do in order to let that happen again? I cannot overthink my wrestling technique. I just have to do it. Now this is your first year in wrestling, correct? No. This is your second year? This is my third year. Third year, okay. Uh, what's the furthest that you've gone in wrestling and what's the best that you've done so far? The best that I've done so far would have to be last year when I made it to regionals. Okay. Yes, that was one of the biggest accomplishments from my wrestling so far. I'm hoping to make it part of this year. So, you know, you've had a couple of girls. I know Precious last year made it yeah. to state. I think Amy made it last year to state. So. Is, is your goal state or bust? Yes, my goal is state. You state or bust, there you go. Um, you guys won this championship last year. First time in, in school history that you guys have done it. This year, I know a lot of people have done it for you, and they're thinking because you lost one big key piece to the puzzle that it can't happen again. What do you have to say about that to teams that are doubting you and saying lightning is not going to strike twice in the bottle? Because I work hard and I know what I'm doing, say that it's fine if they doubt me because I don't doubt myself and I don't need anyone else's approval. But what about as a team? As a team, as a team I know a lot of people are doubting because you guys lost, you know, Esmeralda, who was, was a big leader in the Colonials, and they're saying, well, you know what? It, it was it was kind of a luck of the draw that you all won it last year. And teams are coming after and gunning after you and they want to take that away from you. How tough is it going to be to take that district title away from you again this season? It's going to be very tough because we worked very hard and to get where we are right now, we're working right now. Do you feel right now with the team that you have, do you guys have the capability of winning it for a second straight year? Of course I do. Yes. There you go. All right, last thing. Um, of all the girls on the team, who's the one person that brings out the best in you? The best in me? That's a hard one because all of them do. And I'm in a different perspective, all of them do. But I'd say the most would be Kayla. Why is that? Because she's very positive and she always tells me, corrects me on what I did wrong. And what to do. There you go. Now, let's get a prediction here. You guys have a meet, I believe, on Thursday? Is that right? Or Friday? On Friday. Friday, okay. Uh, who are you outfits on Friday? It's a try meet. No, not trying. It's a I think it's, so it's a bunch of different schools. I want you to give me a prediction of right now. What are you going to do in that tournament? I'd say I'm going to dominate because I've been working very hard. I like that. Maya, we wish you the best of luck. We're going to be here to follow you the rest of the way. And I'm going to put the pressure on you right now. State or bust. Cool? Yes. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much.